Hi everyone, Blessed B. I thought I would show you today my Yule altar setup. So first of all, I needed to remove my autumn one for Salwyn. And I wanted to, obviously, I'll reuse some of these elements, but I wanted to add a more of a Yule theme to my altar. So first of all, it's a case of removing the items off the altar. And I've got a cloth on the altar at the moment with little skeletons on well obviously that's for sewing so what i need to do is remove that excuse the odd camera angle i was filming this on my phone um because my tripod's not working properly for my ipad so first of all i've removed all the items all the offerings and the dried leaves the things that i used for the autumn theme and also the rain stick, the singing bowl, the pebbles and stones that I've collected. Um, and I've got a little jar with some bones in that I collected as an offering as well. Um, I, well, I bought the bones um, and I use those as an offering. So first of all, I removed the cloth. <clears throat> now, I know some people will smoke cleanse the table um, and wipe it down and everything uh, but this has not been on very long and also I do protections and things in the room on a regular basis so I don't feel it needs it so I've put the moon cloth altar cloth back on with the sacred geometry on it um, because it's been washed and dried now so it's ready to go on and then here I'm using my yule wreath which I made either last year or the year before um, which I'll link the tutorial on how to make it in the description box. And inside I'm putting the dried leaves, because obviously you still get the dried leaves at this time of year. And I'm adding my stag in the middle, which I use to represent Canunos. And making sure that is central to the table, to the display. And then I, I'm adding the antler pieces that I still have. I wanted to use them again, um, again as a representation of the forest and wild creatures and Canunos himself. And it's just a case of laying those out how I was happy with it. And if you wonder where to get pieces of antler from, just go to your local pet store and look. Um, they'll have them as um, dog chews. Um, because some people buy pieces of antler for their dogs to chew on for their teeth. Um, I just bought some, so obviously I could display them. And the advantage with antler is because it's like solid, it's like a bone, um, it doesn't smell and it doesn't rot or anything, it'll just stay as it is. So that's really good. Then I place my offering bowl back on, which is full of seeds and conkers and acorns, all the different things that I've placed in there as offerings. I place my white stag, um, which represents like the spirit of stags and canunos, um, in the centre on the wreath as well. And I've got my offering jar with all the pebbles and things that are found at the back. And I've got my little bits of um, dried thistle and things that I've placed at the back. My little wood spirit that I carved from a piece of tree that I was chopping down. It's just where I gave the tree a bit of a trim. It's not where I've chopped the tree down. Although sadly since the tree has died, but it's quite a small one in my garden. I'm going to replace it with another one. And I put my singing bowl back at the back because I like to use that to create a nice atmosphere for when I'm sitting at my altar and also to cleanse and I'm placing the other items I have on my altar space um, that I like to keep there like my forest animals, my robin in its nest of dried moss, um, the crystal skull, glass and crystal skulls I have and candles
here at this point I'm having a dig in my drawer for my pine cones with glitter on that I use for you all. And once I find those, I place those on the altar as well. I like to use these to represent Yule and the season because they remind me of pine cones covered in snow and like the how everything is frozen this time of year. So this is what my Yule altar looks like. I've also got my little mini Yule tree at the back. Um, it did have some lights on, but they've got all tangled and they don't work very well. So I'm going to put... Um, some sort of lights on this but I haven't uh, got them yet I need to buy some um, and I've got candles to light when it's dark um, and it's got it's all full of this richness so it's got all the the reds the greens that are associated with Yule as well as the silvers and the sort of icy colors as well and obviously all my representations of Kanunas and offerings and representations of forest creatures like that little squirrel ornament and the robin so that's it that's my yule altar set up i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching um if you make a video of your altar setup let me know i'd love to watch it um so that's it hope you enjoyed the video blessed be and bye for now